Hello everyone, today I am here with my channel Pioneer Tutorial again and today I am going to discuss about the topic known as surge impedance and surge impedance loading. These are the special effects or phenomena that you can say they, those are valid for transmission lines or more specifically long transmission line. What is surge impedance? First of all, surge impedance is generally denoted by Z0. As you can say that uh, uh, Z0 that is the characteristic impedance as well as surge impedance for a special phenomena or special criteria you can say. In case of characteristic impedance, what we know that it is the ratio of two parameters that is impedance of the circuit and the admittance of the circuit. Circuit means here the transmission line itself. Now why it is so different than the surge impedance? Surge impedance is the special characteristic impedance of the lossless line or loss free line. What does that mean? That means the loss components that is the conductance part and the uh, resistance part those things are being omitted for the this Z0 means the surge impedance part as you can see Z defined by R plus J omega L and Y is defined by G plus J omega C now if this R and G they are getting omitted means what this total part will be deleted and Z0 can be written as root over of L by C. This thing is known to be surge impedance. Okay. Now what about surge impedance loading means what we are here having some load which is equivalent to this part means the receiving end will have say uh, it is an imaginary part that is Z0 is being connected to the receiving end of the transmission line. Then the total power at the receiving end that can be easily related to this PR is equals to VR square by Z0 means receiving end voltage square divided by Z0. This power loading is known to be as surge impedance loading. Then the question will rise in your mind. What is the benefit of this? Why we are going for surge impedance loading for a transmission line? Why not anything else? Because this loading effect is the threshold limit setting parameter. Means what? You can be able to set what will be the maximum loading that can be given to the line. What can be minimum loading that can be given to the line. For which the stability will not be affected and other parameters will remain stationary. For this reason, this is very good of parameter to actually calculate the whole system parameters of the transmission line. Now if you want to note the loading effect to be increasing higher and higher then there are two variables here that is VR and Z0 as we see. Now you can easily increase the voltage levels and nowadays this, this thing is being used means we can we are using the higher and higher voltage level at our end but the thing is that in the with the increase of voltage level the insulation part is going to be increased so a physical boundary is being set to that limit we cannot cross actually that is why z0 is also a parameter that we can vary and z0 is in the denominator so we have to decrease the value of the z0 then to decrease the value of the Z0, what we can have, we can actually uh, connect the shunt capacitor or series capacitor to the line. If we do that, in case of shunt capacitors, what is going to be happening? The Z0 value will decrease, but the stability will not be there because charging current can actually cause instability to the system. And in the other case, if we connect the series capacitances, means what we are adding capacitors in series to the line then that stability part will be there but the thing is that the impedance that will not be that much smaller so there are different things that is there and we can actually calculate this z0 by having two different 
test or two different connections to the transmission line and we can be able to easily calculate that z dot square will be equals to zsc into zoc means what we have to one once short circuit the terminals of the transmission line again we have to open circuit the transmission line if and we just if we will be able to calculate the source voltage that is the ratio of ves and ies for both the cases once for open circuit condition another for short circuit condition then we can be able to calculate zsc and zoc in terms of abcd parameters we also be able to calculate this and if we just calculate it then we will be able to easily get the value of z naught in case of a particular transmission line which will be equals to approximately that is zsc into oc so this was my topic today that is the surge impedance and surge impedance loading uh, this was this is actually being implemented to the practicability of the lines how those lines can be performing in the practical life so this was important and this is very interesting to know about the lines also please if you like this channel then subscribe to my channel i will be uploading this kind of videos again and again there will be different topics and more interesting topics will be there thank you for watching thank you very much